it's on. Uh, oh shit. We're rolling. Oh, okay. Uh, right. I don't even know where I'm going to begin with this. Shit. Hi, I'm Tom from This Stuff. Bruce Wayne, wealthy playboy, owner of Wayne Enterprises, orphaned as a child. This is the top 10 list for the Batman films. Starting with number 10, Batman vs Superman. Well, what else is there to say? Apart from, you know, another origin story? Really? Do we need that? Oh, how many other ways can they kill off Thomas and Martha Wayne? Really? And plus the whole, Martha! Really? What type of thing's that? What a shit film. Made out to be the best, but it was shit. Number nine. The Lego Movie in 2017. Nothing much to say, unless you're a Lego fanboy, you know, there's not really much in it. So that's why it gets my number nine. As for number eight, Batman 1966. This was Adam West. He brought the camp to Batman with POW, bat repellent, you know, and shark repellent and all the other stuff. Yeah. Adam West. Adam West. Number seven, Batman Begins in 2005. This is where Christian Bale started his trilogy. Origins, another telling of how to kill dead parents. How to kill dead parents? I mean, how to kill parents, but you, you get the point. But yeah, there's not really much to say about that. Anyway, number six, Batman Returns. The penguin is a penguin? Yeah, he, he's literally a penguin. It's got to be nuts. It was made by Tim Burton, so what else? I can't really do this list. I think there's someone else we should bring in. Fuck this. Oh, I'm Batman. Anyway, that guy was useless. Let me finish this list off. God damn it, I can't see a thing. Alfred, pass me my glasses. There we are. God damn it. Who invented bad bullet Anyway, let's do the news. Where was I? So number five. No, it's not good. Anyway, back to the list. That was a nice visit from Batman. Number five, Batman Forever in 19... Batman Forever in 1995. Val Kilmore. Why oh why did Keaton have to go? It could have made a good film, especially with the Riddler and Two-Face in it. Still, this was the first screen with Robin in, before 1966's Robin, which was a bit camp, to say the least. Still, a great film all over. Number four, Batman The Dark Knight. Rises, 2008. Bane. Hello there, Batman. I'm Bane. Oh, I'm Batman. It's a bit confusing to hear both of them the same, but still. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, it was a crap movie. Why? Why the voice? The voice was fucked. It was a great finish to the trilogy. Number three, The Dark Knight, 2005. Well, well, well. This could have been the number one spot. The Joker was great. What else is there to say? It was an all-time high film. Dark Knight kicked ass. It was another shit film. Worse than the other. Number two, Batman 1989. Michael Keenan brings Batman to life as the darker tones. You know, after we have the camp Batman with the, yeah, he dances quite a lot. Here's another video. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale like moon? No? What about you, Lee? You're coming on to me. And number one, Batman and Robin. In 1997. George Clooney, Bat Nips, Bat Credit Card, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze. What else is there to say? It was such an amazing film. First Batman film I ever saw in the cinema. My number one film. And I don't care if you don't agree. 
This is the list you need, not the list that you deserve. Batman. Oh, look, Batman's back. So, number five. Batman Forever in 1954. Fuck me. Leans to your right slightly as well. Coming out of frame. There we go. Number five. Batman Forever in 1950. Fuck me. Why don't I keep saying 55? When was it? 65? No, 95. Oh. Way off. Right. My number four. Fuck. On that as a behind the scenes. <laughs> This is good. This, yeah, this, this can go on. Don't worry, Carolyn, I will clean your brushes. This was how it was meant to be fit, what? Cut!